Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Gundam Universe RX-78-2 Gundam GU-01. This is THE Gundam for those of you who are not familiar with Gundam. It's like the quintessential Gundam. It's the one everybody knows. You need to have at least one in your collection if you like Gundam at all. That's my opinion. And this is a cheaper version no, not really a version, a cheaper alternative to something like Robot Damashi or, well, I guess I'm just gonna compare it to action figures, I'm not gonna compare it to model kits. This thing is on sale right now, I think, well, at least it was when I bought it at BBTS for like 17 bucks, which is a pretty good steal. I think it's regularly 20, and so it puts it right in the range of Marvel Legends or any of your average kind of Bandai America type stuff. This isn't Bandai America though, is it? It says Tamashi Nation, so that's kind of interesting. But it's in that price range. It's a $20 figure, so that's how we're going to be looking at it. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands just about 15 and a half centimeters, which makes it pretty close to 6 inches on the dot, which makes it just a little bit taller than a robot Damashi figure. Well, about an inch taller than a robot Damashi figure. And at first glance, it has generally the same look. It's made out of mostly PVC, which is how robot Damashi are built. It has the same amount of paint for the most part. I mean, you might get a little bit more on the robot Damashi, like inside the joints or something like that. But overall, it has a very similar vibe. If you're just looking at them both on the shelf, you're not going to necessarily immediately be able to tell the quality difference. This guy's a lot more PVC and a lot softer of a sculpt once you get up close, but it does have generally a pretty good look to it. Things I want to point out are the details right there on his special place, the yellow and the red painted very nicely. Uh, this is all molded plastic up here, except for maybe the yellow part at the collar. Oh, that should be molded, but it looks like it's painted. Either way, it looks pretty good. Now the face, on the other hand, it's not perfect. They were definitely going for more of an animation look with the longer face. Mine happens to have pretty janky eyes, but it's still not bad. And you can see we have the reflector, reflective red at the top up here. So it's in, in really clean paint in there. It's not bad, honestly. It's better quality than I thought it was going to be, at least as far as the aesthetic goes. Now we do have one issue and that is the articulation, but we'll get to that in a minute. But aesthetics wise, for 17 bucks, this thing looks pretty darn good. Yeah, it's mostly just white plastic, but that's what it's supposed to be, so I can't really fault it for that. I'm gonna give it is I'll give it an eight. I think they did a pretty good job with what they had. Like I said, this is pretty much what you get out of a $50 robot Damashi figure, or 30, whatever you wanna pick out. As far as accessories go, they're not bad. It's not maybe as much as a robot Damashi, but again, only 17 bucks. We'll go with 20 since that's the MSRP. For hands, we have two fist hands, we have a trigger finger hand and a gripping hand. Not a huge selection. We do have two beam saber hilts and of course beam saber beams sabers to go with them. Mine happen to be two different shades of pink, which is definitely not ideal. That's definitely a bummer. Also, holding those beam saber hilts not the best situation. The trigger finger hand is not as good as the other hand. Neither of them are particularly good. We do have his rifle. I cannot remember what the rifles are called, uh, which is not bad. It's pretty much your standard rifle. Uh, the camera part does rotate a little bit. That's pretty cool. And as a little bonus, you can plug a beam saber into that to make it look like it's fired. So that's kind of nice. We do get his shield, which is painted pretty well. It's not too bad at all. And it does have a posable clip on the back where he can grab it and it pegs into his forearm. However, the range of motion on it is not good. Like you can't actually use it on his hand. It can only be held straight up and down. Not a real good situation, but it is included, so that's not terrible. And then lastly, we get a little display stand clip, and that is nice. So not a bad, uh, for 17 bucks or 20 bucks, that's fine. That's a good batch of accessories. So I'm going to give it a 9. No, I'm going to give it an 8 just because you can't really hold the beam swords, beam sabers that well, and mine are two different colors of pink, though I do like the painted plastic rather than translucent. I think that looks kind of cool. All right, on to the articulation. The head is on a ball peg. The neck is also on a ball peg. The neck barely moves at all. The head, well, it pops off very easily. You're gonna be able to rotate it, no problem at all, and get a little bit of style posing. You're not gonna be doing any crazy neck movements in there, but that's probably good enough. The shoulders, they peg in on a ball peg, so technically they move around, but not really. There's almost no range. 
Then we have a hinge which allows the shoulder to move and this piece also moves a little bit but just not very much but you do get Oh, the shoulder's very tight. Plenty of range out of this hinge and that's okay. And of course you do have your full rotation, but boy, oh boy, is that tight. And that kind of joint is either gonna get tighter and tighter or looser and looser. They don't typically balance out at some point, so that's kind of a bummer. You do get your bicep swivel. A lot of squeaking going on here, not great. Technically a double jointed elbow, but you still only get 90 degrees and that kind of blows. That does hurt poseability a lot. For the wrists, just a ball peg in the hand, which is fairly standard, but still. For the torso, I don't know what technically is going on in here, but it feels just like a ball peg. I think there's one ball peg up here, and then maybe there's something at the bottom too, but it really just feels like one ball peg with some floating pieces, so it's hard to say. You do get to lean it forward. Can I see in there? I can't get in there. It leans forward a little bit, doesn't lean back all that far, but it's enough. I mean, that's fine. He doesn't need to be in crazy poses. The rotation's very limited, side to side is very limited as well. No posability back here. For the skirt armor, it's not its not a good situation. If you look in there, it's, it's pegged in on that, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. Yeah, you can probably tell. You see where that dark line is? That's a split in the plastic because that part just rotates on the left side of that line. So that's how these parts move, which means they don't get out of the way anywhere near enough. And I'll show you the hips in a second, but I wanted to show you the skirt armor first. Same thing with this piece. It doesn't get out of the way. Not enough. doesn't get out of the way that much on the side it doesn't matter as much because the hips can go out to the side pretty far but going up is definitely limited and then the back armor is just really a soft piece that flexes I guess that's fine because you don't need to go back that often but bringing the hips forward it's pretty limited like no kneeling poses for sure this guy is definitely more limited than I expected because they didn't need to like why they change this they could have just put it on a regular ball peg up front and let it flip up and it, they didn't do that so that's weird Thigh swivel is basically not existent, but it technically is. It just is so tight, it's very, very tight in here, and the hip just falls off of the ball peg. But that gives me a good opportunity to show you that the hips technically have a hinged, uh, a hinged ball peg. There's just almost no range, and it's super duper tight, so good luck using that. You're gonna have a lot of trouble posing this guy's hips. Even going all the way down, they still don't give him that much range, so not, not a good hip situation. As far as the knees, we have a double jointed knee. It gets really ugly and still only goes 90 degrees. Not good again. And then for the ankles, can I pop these off? I'd like to pop it off. Can I do that? Eh, I'm not gonna be able to pop it off. We have a combination of a ball peg and a hinge, it looks like, at the top, another ball peg at the bottom, and this is on a ball peg. So really all you need to know is the functionality. You get a decent ankle rocker, that works really nicely. You can bring the foot pretty far forward, which is actually uncommon for Gundam figures, so that's really good. And going back is really limited, which is the exact opposite of what we normally see. So that's kind of interesting. But all in all, it's still just basic articulation. So this guy's biggest weakness is the articulation. It's pretty rough. It's not gonna pose well, not really. You're gonna be mostly just having this guy in a fairly, fairly neutral pose so is it worth it maybe i think my recommendation for this well i'll give the articulation a rating of six it's pretty rough uh, okay so now my final thoughts on this if you're an adult collector just spend the extra money get robot damashi no doubt about it this isn't bad but it's not really collector worthy if you're not an adult collector or you're buying it for somebody who's not an adult collector, this will be just fine. Kids would love this. This is perfectly good for a kid collector. For an adult, let's say it's 20 bucks, you might be able to find some robot Damashi similar to this model for 30 bucks, maybe 40. I say it's worth it. Um, this is worth its price, but it's just not what an adult collector would be looking for as far as I can tell. So. Um, for what it is, I'm gonna give it an overall rating of 7. It's still a perfectly fine item, it's just not a substitute. And I don't think it's supposed to be, but I know that's how people are gonna look at it. It's not a substitute for Robot Damashi. It's good enough for what it is, but it, that's all it is. 
All right, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the review by giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And also you should probably subscribe because I have thousands and thousands of videos on the channel for the days I don't upload. But on the other hand, I do have videos, new videos almost every single day. So come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.